Let's start out on a drive. Here we are on a two-lane country road, kind of between Valley Center and Bonsall. And can I tell you that this road, West Lilac Road it's called, is known for something very special. And it's odd because there isn't a lot of traffic on it. It can be a while between cars, not what you'd describe as a heavily traveled road, which makes what's right down here all the more remarkable. Okay, we're coming up on it right now. See it? It's a bridge, the Lilac Road Bridge. Considering how little traffic there is, you might wonder why they even built it. But if you've ever driven Interstate 15 north of Escondido, you sure know it. You've seen it. It's a dramatic, iconic, something from a picture book bridge, 745 feet across, that is pretty breathtaking. And 160 feet up there is little old West Lilac Road. Well, we got curious, right? And at his home in San Marcos, we found John Metlin, who knows a lot about that bridge. I basically oversaw all of the construction of the bridge from day one. And he's kept the plans and drawings, dimensions and everything from when it was built more than 40 years ago. The uh, superstructures here, that would be this. This is the arch, that would be this. First of all, look at the bridge. Now imagine that whole valley under it there, where the road is being put in here. That was completely dug out of solid granite. The land used to be all the way up to where the top of the bridge is. So here's a drawing of the bridge. You can see the arch, and he's tracing with his thumb there where the ground used to be. In order to get down to the, to the grade necessary for the 15 construction, they had to go down about 160 feet. Three quarters of a million cubic yards of solid granite dug and blasted away to get down to where the freeway was going to be before they could even start to build the bridge. Oh, and then the bridge itself, that big sweeping arch looks like solid concrete, right? But that arch is hollow. It's got utility lines. You could walk in there if you could walk in there. From one end to the other. It's a marvel of bridge construction, it really is. All told, it took three years, a million and a half dollars, and the traffic up here on West Lilac Road? Well, right now, this I would say in the neighborhood of 500 cars per day. Which brings us back to why? Why go to all the trouble to build this exceptional and striking bridge when a detour or something simpler and cheaper would have done the trick? But no, no, the Caltrans of 40 years ago thought, we can build a bridge for Lilac Road, but we can also do something drivers will really notice for decades to come. You know, if the setting was right, you know, the approach and the departure from the structure, just the way the vistas that opened up on both ways. It was a conscious decision to build something aesthetically pleasing purely for its own sake. Just so drivers moving along I-15 might look at it and for a moment or two be impressed or inspired or pleased. That's exactly what the thinking was. And that's how it came to be, how Interstate 15 between Escondido and Rainbow got a landmark everyone sees and remembers, how West Lilac Road ended up with a major league bridge, and how 40 years ago, John Metlin came to be such a big part of it all. I think about it almost every day. And why not? It's something so visible and so very familiar about San Diego. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click on the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this one.